tardes, la Universidad Castro Carazo les da la más cordial bienvenida a este espacio virtual que hemos preparado para todos y todas ustedes. Mi nombre es Ivania Vega, Coordinadora de Vida Estudiantil y voy a tener el gusto de acompañarles el día de hoy. Les informamos que este evento está siendo grabado, por lo que les solicitamos mantener sus micrófonos silenciados y cámaras apagadas en tanto no estén participando. De igual forma, para una mejor experiencia, en la parte superior derecha de la pantalla pueden activar la vista de galería y esto les va a permitir ver a todas las personas participantes. Muy bien, queremos contarle que el día de hoy hemos preparado este taller en conjunto con el Centro de Idiomas que se llama Transformato Asiento, un taller de pronunciación en inglés. Y bueno, para compartirnos este taller, nos acompaña eh, la directora del Centro de Idiomas y uno de los docentes de la carrera, también que además es experto en eh, temas de hacer y que nos van a orientar por este, por este taller. Pero bien, antes de iniciar, quisiera eh, contarles cuál va a ser la dinámica. El día de hoy hemos habilitado el espacio del chat para que ustedes nos puedan hacer sus consultas y preguntas durante el evento. Nosotras las vamos a recopilar y vamos a, a tratar de dar respuesta a la mayoría de ellas. También vamos a tener un espacio donde ustedes van a poder participar y si desean hacerlo, les vamos a estar activando sus micrófonos. Queremos eh, hacerles saber que este espacio es un espacio que se va a desarrollar principalmente en idioma inglés. Sin embargo, si tienen alguna consulta o quieren participar y prefieren hacerlo en español, lo pueden hacer. Que esto no vaya a limitar nuestro aprendizaje el día de hoy. Muy bien, ahora sí para iniciar, quiero darle la palabra a Liana y a Carlos para que eh, los saluden y les den la bienvenida también. Muy buenas tardes, muchas gracias Ivania, gracias por eh, ofrecernos este espacio. Mi nombre es Eliana Rojas, soy la directora del Centro de Idiomas y quiero eh, agradecerles por estar acá compartiendo esta actividad con nosotros. Hoy nos acompaña el profesor Carlos Mestaller de amplia experiencia aquí en la universidad. Buenas tardes, Carlos. Buenas tardes, Liana, y a todos los asistentes, eh, una cordial bienvenida a esta actividad. Eh, creo que nos vamos a divertir mucho practicando nuestro inglés el día de hoy, así que espero que todos estén sentados en un lugar cómodo donde puedan poner mucha atención y principalmente puedan pronunciar todo, todo lo que vamos a practicar hoy. Excelente. Como les dijo Ivania, esta actividad va a ser en inglés, sin embargo, siéntanse eh, por favor, en la confianza de si tienen consultas y si desean hacerlas en español, las pueden hacer en español por medio del chat. All right. Otherwise, we start with English starting now. Okay. So, so let's see. Mm -hmm. So, am I sharing? Yes. Yes, I can see the screen. Okay, so hello everybody, hello Carlos. Carlos, let's rock and let's say let's it rock right. and let's say it right. Okay. So Carlos, why um, pronunciation? Why is it important to practice sounds that are different or difficult for us Spanish speakers? English language has a lot of sounds. Spanish does too. But if we make a comparison, English language has many more sounds than Spanish. So some of the sounds we produce in English are totally different from what we pronounce in Spanish. So we need patience, we need practice in order to produce some of the words and some of the sounds the right way. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Okay, great. So let's start with the diagnostic exercise, shall we? So, yes. kind of, what do we well, do my with friends, this? what you see here is, you can see a paragraph, okay? So, I want you to do me a favor, please, okay? And do yourselves a favor. You are going to take your telephones, if possible, and you are going to turn on your recording, your voice recording feature on your, on your telephone, your voice recording application, and I am going to give you a few minutes, okay, to record this okay cold turkey everybody 
turn on your phone and start recording this. Uh, what do you think, Liana? Three, four minutes? Four minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll give you four minutes Bye. and we will wait for you, okay? Do this individually, please. Okay, Liana, what do you think? It's about four minutes now. It's about four minutes now. Mm -hmm. Now, we want uh, we want for you to do something, okay? Now you are going to take that recording on your phone or your computer, and you are going to listen to yourselves, okay? Everybody, turn on your recording and listen to your own voice, okay? I'm going to give you... I want to give you a minute to do that, okay? Let's wait a minute. Okay. Did you like what you hear what you heard? Did you like to listen to your own voice? It sounds weird sometimes, right? When you listen to yourself, but you know, that's 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 a really good practice to improve your pronunciation, okay? Very good. Let's continue, Liana. What do we have next? Okay. So this is a pronunciation workshop, and as Carlos said, there's so many sounds in English that are different from the sounds we have in Spanish. So today, we are going to focus on two of those sounds. Are you ready? Ta-da! So, Carlos, tell me, what is this sound? 
Well, there it, we're going to work on the identification of sounds like t or d or th or v. And for this, I need to explain something uh, that's very simple, okay? Uh, some sounds include the uh, production of sound in your vocal cords, okay? Could we go to the exercises, Liana? Maybe we can offer uh, uh, everybody a few examples on this, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you take a look at this list of minimal pairs in, pa in part one, you're going to notice that the first word is this. <laughs> The first sound includes the vibration of the vocal cords, okay? If you are pronouncing this sound and your vocal cords vibrate, you call it voice. <laughs> As in this, right? And then the other sound, if there is no vibration of the vocal cords, then the sound is not vocalized or voiceless, right? That's when you say, did you ever see this movie, Ice Age? Do you remember um, Do you remember Sid in Ice Age? Sid had an interesting problem. He could not pronounce the F. He was always sounding like this. Well, that is exactly the sound I'm talking about right now, right? Thanks, right? So there is a contrast between this and thanks, uh -huh. right? Carlos, and do we have these sounds, these two sounds in Spanish? Uh, we have the sound in Castilian Spanish in Spain. We don't use it in Latin America, right? And the voiced sound, we definitely don't have. So that is why we have to pay special attention to the pronunciation of those words, okay? Liana, does that answer your question? Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. so shall we move to part two, the identification? Right. Um, there is a difference between the t and that sounds and th or th sounds, right? Now we understand that TH can have a voiced or a voiceless mm -hmm. counterpart, right? The point of articulation is the same, right? Your tongue is touching your upper teeth, right? What is the only difference between the voice and the voiceless sounds? The vibration of your vocal cords. That is the only difference, okay? So uh, with your microphones off, okay, with your microphones off, I would like to pronounce the first two sets, okay? I am going to pronounce the first two sets. You can repeat after me with your microphones off, please, okay? And then we might even turn on the microphones afterwards. We'll see, okay? Everybody. First word, wetter. Wetter. Wetter, right? Second word, weather. Weather. Okay, second set. First word, tear. Tear. Second word, there. There. Right? I am making a little bit of an, an exaggerating. I'm, I'm exaggerating the sounds a little bit, but I want to be very clear, okay? Tear, there, okay? Now, Liana, what do you think about calling volunteers? Sure. Uh huh. Um, maybe because I'm not watching the chat, maybe Ivania can help us with the volunteers. Absolutely. So, Ivania, can we have a couple of people to read some of the words in these sets? Sure, I help you. Um, we have here David. I Great. will um, 
give him permission to talk. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hi, David. Thanks for participating. Can you please pronounce the first three sets? Three or four? I think he has his microphone off. Let me try with... Oh, I have a, a person raising his hand. Mm -hmm. That's Maria Great. Jose. Maria Jose. Thank you for raising your hand. <laughs> Maria Jose, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Okay, Hi. the first column is weather and weather. There and there. Three and three. Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. Great You're job. doing so well. I want to listen to your voice. I want to listen. Yes. To your... Keep what? going. Keep going, Maria Jose. Keep going, yeah. please, Maria. Okay. okay. And then, then. Those, those. Thick, thick. Tank, tank. Thin, thin. Ten, then, with, with, letter, leader, pat, pat. Very good. You did a really good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. That was great. Thanks a lot. That was great. Well, this is something you can do on your own. Okay. Uh, you don't, you don't have to, uh, do this on the microphone. You can do this on your own, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, now for the next uh, activity, we need, first of all, we need, let's see, that our friends share this uh, link to the chat so that everybody participating in the activity can go to this mm -hmm. page that I'm showing because you will be listening to uh, a couple of words, like a minimal pair, as Carlos said. And depending on what you hear, you are going to check. And this is going to give you the answer. Maybe you're not listening here, but when you do it in your device, you will hear it. And it gives you immediate feedback. All right? So please use uh, the link that our friends oh. are sharing with you. The uh -huh. link is already on, on the chat, so you can click on there uh -huh. and you will be taken to this page. Very good. Okay, and we'll give you a couple of minutes to do it. And then Carlos will call some volunteers to read the, the pairs. What about that? Great, that sounds like a great idea. So let's give them a couple of minutes to work with these minimal pairs. Oh, Samantha, I am sorry you cannot see the link. I'm copying it again. Thank you.
Okay. I hope you had the time to listen to all of the, of the minimal pairs. So, Liana, what do you think about calling some volunteers? Let's go all ahead. Right, let's pick the first volunteer who's going to read the first four. Anybody? I would love to see your hand up. Okay, Laura. Thank you, Thank Laura. Thank you, Laura. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, the first, fourth, uh, weather and weather. Right. Dear and there. Three mm -hmm. and three. Ten and then. Very, very good. good. You are natural. That's great. Well, thank you. Very, very, very good. That was great pronunciation. Now, another set of four. Does anybody want to do it? Five, six, seven, and eight. Anybody? Come on, guys. You can do it. Chantony. Chantony, welcome. And then we will give the chance to Fabian, okay? And then Justin. Okay, Chantony, we're all ears. Hi. Is it what, what numbers? I'm sorry. Five, six, seven, and eight, please. Okay, five says those, six is thick, seven, tank, thin. That's it. Those are okay. great. Those are great. great. Thank you. You read the right answers, right? Right. And the pronunciation for the different for, for the two for the two words. Could you please read both, Shantini? Like toes and those to make a contrast, listen to the contrast. Yes, please, Shantini, you can do that. Oh, no, it's, uh, I couldn't open the mic. No, it's okay. Let's do it again. So it is toes, those, tick, yeah. thick, tank, thank, tin, thin. Beautiful. That was great pronunciation. Great. Congratulations. Great. That was great. Then we said we were going to give the chance to, I think it was Fabian, maybe? Mm -hmm. Fabian, are, are you still up to read? Would you like to do that? Oh, hello, hello. To... There you go, Fabian. Thank you so much for, for the opportunity. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, it's from 9 to 12. 9 to 12, yes. Okay. Then, then. Great. With, with. Well, that's difficult to me, the number 10. <laughs> leather, leather. Great. At, at. Very good. Great. I would recommend if you want to make an emphasis, which you did really well, just let the airflow path. Path. Okay, with. okay. With. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. okay. So that, that would be a good, that's a good trick in case you, you want to perfect that sound, okay? okay. Hey, thank everybody, you. thank you so very Perfect. much for your participation. Carlos, thank should we you. mention the thing mm -hmm. about tear, tear, and there? Yeah, tear is the noun, right? When you cry, you cry tears most of the time, right? It's the wow. water, the drops of water, salty water coming out of your eyes. That's a tear. But this word also has uh, the meaning of verb, right? When you want to talk about the verb, you have to pronounce it tear. Okay. That's what I'm doing. You are tearing. Uh, Liana is tearing a piece of paper right now. Okay. So that's what we are listening to in this particular exercise. We're listening to the verb, tear and there, okay? And I think everybody knows what there is, all right? Liana, this was a lot of fun. Would you like to continue? What's yeah, next? Yeah, sure. Okay, next we have some exercises where we are going to compare um, either t, d, or v, and th. 
Ah, Liana, could I you please go back to the top? Yes, you can see yeah. that those two symbols in the title, they, they, they have slant brackets. Can you see them? Okay, when you see, when you go to a dictionary and you see slant brackets like this, right? We are not talking about letters. We're talking about sounds. That's how sounds are represented in the dictionary. So the first one is a t sound, right? It's not a letter. And the second one is the v sound, right? Mm -hmm. That is, sure. a, that is, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm mistaken. No, 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 no vibration of your vocal cords. Okay. Okay. That's what, what uh, you can see up there in the title, okay? Mm. Now, this is what we are going to do now, okay? You are going to work on this particular exercise, okay? You can follow the instructions here, okay? And there are minimal pairs here, okay? In a minimal pair, you have that you have two words. All the sounds are the same in that word except one sound okay that is what a minimal pair is okay and you use that sound to differentiate the, the sounds okay so depending on your level of english because i know we have people from basic intermediate advanced levels okay pick your level listen to the minimal pairs and repeat try to practice your minimal pair and then we are going to listen to some volunteers, okay? Uh -huh. So we're going to give so, them three, three minutes, Liana, you think? Uh-huh. But before, let's make sure that the uh, link to the exercise is shared in the chat. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Because they also have the audio here. So yes. they can listen to the audio and then produce the minimal pair. Okay. Yeah, so we... how much... Uh -huh. If you don't know how to pronounce a particular word or you're hesitant, you can listen to the audio and then you can practice, okay? Sure. So how much time do we have for this exercise? Do you think what do you what, th three minutes? Hmm? It's exactly what I was thinking. Bright minds think alike. Okay, time's up, everybody. I hope you're having fun pronouncing your words, okay? 
So I would love to listen to a volunteer to read the, the part you chose. Do we have any volunteers? I would love to see those hands up. Anybody? Mariana. Mariana, what level did you pick? And then Frank, very good. Very good. Mariana, I don't think I can hear your voice yet. She has her microphone on, so I don't know if it's maybe, something maybe related with the computer. I guess you're experiencing technical problems, Mariana. I'm sorry. Can we give the chance to Frank while Mariana works on her on her microphone? Frank, what would you like to to read your your list of minimal pairs? I'm ready. Is Frank still there? I don't see his microphone moving. Yes, he is. He is there, but um, the microphone is off. Yes, Frank, we need you to turn on your microphone if we want to listen to you. I think there you go. Hello? There you go, Frank. Hi. I don't know what happened. Eh, technicalities. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Frank. No, sorry. Hi. Okay, Frank. What 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 set of words did you did you choose? I am. I tried with the advanced. Oh, oh very, good. very good. Had yeah. a boy. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll try. Uh, Go, so Frank. The so the first is girth and the girth, moth, moth, north, north, oath, oath, pit. Fifth, theme, theme, thunk, thunk, trace, trace, throw, throw, thrill, thrill, duck, duck. That is oh, great. That was great communication. Very great. good. Congratulations. Uh, thank good you job, very much. Man. Great, great. Good job. Good I wish I can send you a chocolate bar, but I can't. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Love chocolate. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Why don't we give a chance to Carolina this time and see how she does. Carolina, would you like to read your your uh, uh, your word list? Hi. Good Hi. night. Good evening. I practice level pre-intermediate. Very good. Pre-intermediate. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Fort. Fort, 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 hat, hat, mat, mat, part, pat, team, team, toot, toot, true, true. You did really well. Congratulations. Okay. Let me just say, you give you a little feedback to offer you, because this sound is hard. You know, when we don't have, when we, we haven't practiced it, it's a little hard. So I would go with fourth. Like you're deflating a balloon. Fourth. Fourth. Right? Half. Fourth. Math. Math. Path. Excellent. Wow. Right? The rest of the words were perfect. Mm. I, was, I would just uh mm. I would just uh try to practice mm. that, you know. Uh try to exaggerate sounds to start with. And then eventually as you practice, everything will become natural. Mm -hmm. Master make, you know, practice makes the master. All right. Mm -hmm. And besides Carlos, the speech organs involve muscle movements. Oh, yeah. And oh, this yeah. is like going to the gym. So in Spanish, we don't oh. have. So we need to exercise these muscles to pronounce and produce the sound, right? Until the sound becomes familiar. Totally agree exactly. with you. Exactly. Good uh, job. Good job. 
Why don't we pick one last volunteer to read a set of list? Uh, let's see. What do you th what do we think about Siani? Siani Linton? Hello, Siani. I don't think I can hear you. Maybe there's something going on with your microphone. She's working on her tech on her tech right now. And she's gonna make it, I'm sure. Houston, we have a problem. Well, while Siani works on her tech, what do you think about Grace, Liana? Grace, would you like to participate while Siani works on her microphone? Yeah. I Hi, Grace. Hello. Oh, Liana, nice to see you again. Hi, Grace, nice just, to see you. Yeah, just, a long time no see. You are so sweet. You are still so sweet. Oh, thank you. You are sweet. small world. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, Grace, Grace. which <laughs> which set do you want to do you want to read for okay. us? Okay, I think intermediate intermediate is so hard, but I want to 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 try it. You can do it. Let's yeah. do it. I know you can so, do it. Okay, death, death, heat, heal. Hard hearts, north, north, shit, chips, teat, teeth, tick, three, thing, thing, tour, throw, through, throw, trust, throat. Beautiful. That was great. Thank you very much, Grace. Thank you. Okay. I would, I'm going to add about this that we want to be particularly careful with final t sounds, right? We want to make them very clear so that everybody understands what we're saying. We have a tendency in Spanish to retain the sound, right? We usually say with this first word, for example, debt. And everybody goes like, what did you say? But if you are clear, if you release that final sound, everybody's going to say, oh, yeah, debt, mm -hmm. heat, heart, not, sheet, teat, thick, right? So those final sounds also count for great pronunciation. Right. Sure. Uh, Liana, what do we have on our plate? But before we, we move to the plate? next, before we move to the next thing, uh, yep. just a quick tip: when we pronounce final sounds, a way to exercise pronouncing final sounds is using a sheet of paper and right. trying to make the paper move like that, that, that. Of course, this is exaggerating, but that's what we want to do for the practice. Heat, right. heat, uh huh, thick, right? So I hope that tip uh, helps. Very so, good. Carlos, should we move to the very last part of our yeah. workshop? Now that we have practiced, now that we have used our tongs to speak, it's time for the real challenge, everybody. We have tongue twisters, okay? And for excuse this me, excuse activity. me, Carlos. Yes, Ariana. Ariana? Sorry, we have a question in the chat. Maybe you can check before going ahead. Okay, the bad word sounds like e in Spanish. Ah, I wonder what the bad word is. I don't. Hmm. Think I can't remember. Do, do Do you see any bad words there? Oh, this is sheet. Okay, sheet is like when you have a sheet of paper like Liana just showed to add uh, to us, okay? And uh, and sheath is, is a different one. The sound for the other word, right? 
when people when people want to it's not exactly a bad word but when people want to say shit okay the sound is very relaxed and the sound is very short uh -huh. okay when you say sheet make sure you are smiling right because your muscles on both sides have to be tense in order to pronounce the sound e okay there is a similar word in spanish and you can say this word when you listen to it hilo hilo have you ever heard that word hilo what you used to you know to so close is exactly that sound okay sheet with an e and you can see my teeth i'm smiling okay i hope that i <laughs> i love i love the emoticon thank you very much yes i think we 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 got that we we nailed it okay all righty I hope that answers your question, okay, Laura. And if we have not, you 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 can feel free to write to us afterwards, and we will help you. All right, you're welcome. All right, I want for everybody to turn on your microphones, everybody, all at once. <laughs> okay, come on, everybody, turn on your microphones, everybody. We are going to make this beautiful. Great. 124 people choir. <laughs> okay, and we are going to read the first Tonk Twister. It says 33 thirsty thieves thought they thrive through thick from thickets. Let me Let's say do it, it all together again. 33 Carlos. thirsty thieves thought, thought they thrive through thick from thickets. Are you ready? On the count of three, everybody, on the count of three, I want for everybody to read it. Turn on your microphones. Come on, everybody. One, two, three, I am impressed. Everybody, I am really impressed. I didn't understand a word, but you did a really good job, everybody. <laughs> hey, Carlos, Carlos, yes. right now, because we've been exercising these speech organs in this, in this specific position, if you feel that your mouth is burning a little bit, you're doing it right. Yep. Mm -hmm. No pain, no gain, guys. No pain, no gain. Guys. Right. The second th uh, tongue twister is the 33 thin thinkers thought thoroughly through their theories. This is the th sound in all its glory, right? The 33 thin thinkers Thinker thought, thought thoroughly, thoroughly through, through their, their theories. theories. Right. This reminds me a little bit of Elmer in Bugs Bunny, too. He speaks like that. <laughs> Right. So I hope these exercises will help you loosen up your uh, your uh, pronunciation, your speech, you know, system so that you can produce better, more understandable English. OK. And we still have one more thing we would love for you to do. OK. Liana, would you like to show our guests what we're going to okay. do? Okay. So right now, we should be sharing the link to the Genially, to the presentation in the chat, so that you'll have access to this information and yep. so that you can do the very last task of the workshop. And the very last task is you are going to revisit and listen again to your recording and you will record record the test again yes taking into account the pronunciation of the sounds that we dealt with today yeah All can right? you show the diagnostic test again on screen liana please mm, sure i see let me go back there 
That is the, the diagnostic test, friends. Okay, your next step is to record this again. Okay, if you want to practice this before you record it again, great. You can practice it as much as you want, okay? And then you can record yourselves. And then, as Liana said, compare. I am sure your pronunciation will be a lot better on the second time around. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, this is a little bit, right? This is a little bit of English, and this is a little bit of a sound we don't have. In, in Spanish, right? So that's a great, great practice. If you want to use this resource for practice, you're welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so this takes us to the end of the workshop. And now Ivania has a couple of um, announcements and a very good announcement, I think, about a raffle or something like that. Eva? Gracias, Liana. Muchas gracias. Bueno, primero que nada agradecerle a Carlos y a Liana por haber preparado este espacio tan bonito y tan interactivo para que podamos pues practicar nuestro centro. Muchísimas gracias a ambos. Eh, muy bien, quiero contarles que en el espacio del chat, mientras están trabajando en esta actividad, les vamos a compartir un enlace para que nos puedan dejar sus comentarios acerca de este espacio y bueno, eso nos va también a ayudar a mejorar para próximos espacios. Muy bien, también quiero contarles que el día de hoy queremos agradecer su participación con dos obsequios. Uno de los obsequios va a ser una tarjeta de regalo. Esta es una tarjeta de regalo de la librería internacional eh, que pueden eh, utilizar y bueno, que, que vamos a, a estar informando posteriormente quién es la persona beneficiada. Para participar es muy fácil, nada más tienen que ingresar al formulario de evaluación que les están compartiendo en el chat, nos dejan ahí sus datos y quedan participando. Y bueno, entre todas las personas que completen el formulario también vamos a tener un segundo obsequio, que es precisamente eh, que una de las personas beneficiadas va a poder enviarnos el test que están haciendo y... Eh, el Centro de Idioma nos va a ayudar brindándole una realimentación personalizada para que pueda eh, mejorar puntualmente la, aquellas áreas eh, en donde hay oportunidades de mejora. Así que bueno, los invitamos a que eh, queden participando por ambos eh, obsequios el día de hoy, completando el formulario. Muy bien. Eh, bueno, aquí está el código QR, si les queda más fácil llenarlo de, de esta forma, pueden tomar una pantallazo, si no, eh, pues en el chat también van a tener toda la información. Muy bien, también queremos contarles que en la universidad siempre tenemos distintas actividades eh, en las que ustedes pueden participar. Estas actividades suelen ser virtuales en su mayoría, también tenemos presenciales, presenciales perdón, y son gratuitas y abiertas a todo público. Así que les invitamos a que no se los pierdan. Eh, en el chat también les vamos a compartir este enlace para que puedan ingresar y ver en detalle todas las actividades. Les voy a contar que eh, el próximo miércoles vamos a tener una nueva actividad con el Centro de Idiomas y en esta actividad lo que vamos a trabajar son técnicas y estrategias para hacer entrevistas en inglés. Entonces, les invito a no perdérselo. La universidad también tiene otros servicios que ofrecen a las personas estudiantes que ustedes pueden aprovechar para mejorar su idioma inglés. Entonces, aquí le voy a dar la palabra a Liana para que nos cuente un poquito. Muchas gracias. Bueno, les contamos que nosotros tenemos el programa English Plus para las personas que deseen mejorar su pronunciación y su fluidez y también este, practicar inglés en un ambiente relajado, tranquilo, con grupos pequeños, con eh, los materiales de National Geographic Learning y nuestros docentes, ¿verdad? Y aprovechar también para comentarles que tenemos un club de conversación. Eh, aquí les dejo mi, mi email para que, aquí está mi correo, para que nos puedan contactar. No sé si ahí lo ven, 
o lo puse mal, <ríe> para, que lo puedan, para que nos puedan contactar y con todo gusto le brindamos información. También iba a agradecerle muchísimo a las personas participantes. Hoy tenemos grupo de sede occidente, tenemos también grupos de sede central. Agradecerle a los profesores Manuel, Katia, Juan Pablo que están acompañándonos, sobre todo agradecerle a nuestro querido profesor Carlos Mestaller, quien es un experto en el área de pronunciación, como se pudieron dar cuenta, y fue un gusto y un lujo tenerlo acá. Y gracias a ustedes por facilitarnos estos espacios tan lindos. Y a los participantes que nos, que nos acompañaron, por supuesto. Excelente, muchas gracias. Muy bien. Finalmente, recordarles que nos pueden seguir en nuestras redes sociales, eh, tanto el Facebook como el Instagram de la Universidad Castro Carazo. También tenemos un Facebook específico de Bienestar Estudiantil, donde pueden tener información de las actividades que realizamos y de todos los servicios que facilita la U. Y para aquellas personas que son estudiantes, eh, también pueden eh, revisar el boletín semanal, la U siempre cerca, que llega todos los viernes puntualmente, donde siempre está información muy importante, no solo de, de estas actividades, sino también eh, pues de todas las fechas importantes en su proceso académico. Y bueno, ahí van a encontrar toda esa información. Entonces, les motivamos a eh, seguirnos y estar atentos a, a toda esa información. Bien, finalmente agradecerles mucho su puntualidad y participación el día de hoy. Esperamos que este espacio haya sido de mucho provecho y les esperamos en nuestras próximas actividades. Que tengan muy buena noche.